go. Joe McKee gets his first touch, plays it back to Luke Leahy, plays it long. Flicked on by Lee Miller, but unfortunately cleared away by Don Fairman. Joe McKee goes up again. Against wins the header. There's Nate Weatherburn and wins a foul too. Don Fairman going the attack quickly through Paul McMullen. Well done by Craig Sibbald. Manages to win the ball. Luke Leahy plays the ball down the line, but all the way back to Don Fairman goalkeeper, who's certainly had to be sharp off his mark there, Jamie. Yeah, I think John Bear could have maybe stuck a foot in there just to make him uh, aware that he was available. So, Sean Murdoch kicks the ball out from hands. Up goes Falkirk. Oh, well done again by Joe McKee. Just helps out his back four as Lee Miller is fouled by number 13. No, so number 12, Lee Ashcroft. Well, that's uh, a good early indication that Willie Cullum's going to maybe give fouls against Lee Miller. Well, he generally doesn't, does he? Yeah, <laughs> well, well, generally, he, he never gets a foul against him. So, James Craig will take the free kick. Comes in and towards the penalty box. Lee Miller ahead again. Looked if he had hands on, him, on his back, but Falker bit the ball up. Craig Sibyl, oh, deflects oh. off Lee Miller. Unfortunately, hit away safely by Dunfermline. That could have been an opening goal for Falkirk. Cracking strike from Craig Sibbald, of course, scored that important first goal against Dunfermline in the last time here at the Falkirk Stadium. Peter Grant wins the header, but again, Joe McKee in the middle of the park just does what he's got to do. Wipes up all the mess and just plays it back to the goalkeeper. Good start so far by the Falkirk number six. Yeah, but I worry about this centre midfield. The boy in there, Wed Wedderburn, who looks a bit of a giant, doesn't he? Just hope he doesn't dominate the play. Yep, obviously former Cowden Beef man, played at Inverness too. We all know about him, he's certainly a big fella. As Luke Leahy takes a throw in, gets a 1-2 from Craig Sibbald, down the line towards Miles Hippolyte. S couple of yards away from the corner flag, this stand side. Tries to take on Dunfermline defender Andy Gegan, but loses out. However, Falkirk still get a throw in. Ten yards move, move, from move. the corner flag. Looking for a bit of movement from Falkirk. Get it through Craig Civil back to Luke Leahy. Plays the ball short. Miles Hippolyte crosses the ball in, but too tight for Miles. Yeah, I think he just had his head down a wee bit, you know. He just uh, didn't have a look up and see who was in the box and just couldn't uh, adjust his body enough to just to get a, a nice wee dink into the box. So, final three, four minutes of the first half. Both sides trying to get themselves into the game. Long ball from Dunfermline. Peter Grant just does a need fault. Plays the ball out to Nicky Clark. Just putting him under a bit of pressure. Throw in for Dunfermline. It's a good long ball from Callum Morris. So, Andy Gegan will take the throw. Met by some colourful language from the Falkirk fans John Heron slipped, ball went safely out for a goal kick so still Falkirk nil, Dunfermline nil yeah just took a little wee stumble there John Heron just having a look at the way Falkirk are lining up just a typical 4-4-2 it looks like Jamie For a change. Yep, as Lee Miller wins a header, well done by Lee. Oh, I'll get that. Yep, heads up. Jason Talbot <laughs> was had a bit of a Abbott moment. <laughs> <laughs> we nearly got a match ball there, Jimmy. <laughs> yep, I mean, totally nearly broke his glasses there. As Falkirk picked the ball up, far side. Adam Muirhead plays the ball down the line looking for John Baird. Takes a little flick, plays in James Craig and well done James. Again, motor on into the box. Oh, just a poor little touch here, but James, oh, nearly. Just cleared away by Dunfermline. Just right off the toes of James Craig and seven, eight yards out. Chance of getting a shot there as 
Falkirk and Dunfermline just do a bit of head tennis just now. James Cagan heads it forwards. Picked up though by Lee Ashcroft and Talbot plays it to Callum Higginbotham. Aram Muirhead's tight on him and Callum managed to turn him round. Plays the ball to Nicky Clark. But thankfully, Miles Hippolyte was alert to danger. Something that Jamie needs, uh, sorry, Aaron needs to watch out for Jamie. Yeah, I face so, yeah. And it's Peter Grant there for once who's just panicked a wee bit and just launched it up, up the park when he, I think he had plenty of time on the ball. Just someone tell him to calm down, you know what I mean? I know it is a a tough um, tough game here against our neighbours, but you know, got to calm down, get your foot on the ball, start passing it about. Ball there from Talbot, just struck off the arms of Lee Miller. I think referee Wally Collum was seen there was any advantage. There was none, so free kick for Dunfermline, which Jason Talbot will take. Just near enough on the far touch line, about 10 yards from halfway. Looking to launch the ball, looking for McMullen or Callum Hickenbotham actually down the line. Who managed to slip, play the ball off Aaron Muirhead, but then it goes back off the Dunfermline man. So throw in at Falkirk, which Aaron will take. As Falkirk get the ball again. Oh, nice header from Craig Sibold. Finds James Cragen on the far side. Taken on Talbot. Can he cross it in? Nope. But well defended by the fullback. Cleared the way. And played down the line. Talbot again. Trying to find Nicky Clark. He does. Paul Watson, no. Just turns and clears the ball away. Up towards Cragen. Trying to get the ball out of the park. But still in play. Falkirk pick it up though through McKee. He motors forward. He's got an engine. Keep going, son. Dummy to Miles Hippolyte. Yeah. 20 yards out of a shot. Miles! Oh! Great play from McKee. A nearly an opening goal for Falkirk. Well, really never heard of Joe McKee before, but picked the ball up, ran his 30 yards and uh, slipped in Miles Hippolyte, who really should have been aiming for the other corner, I think. And if he slices it then, it can maybe go in the other bottom corner, but, you know... Good effort. Did it was from Miles Hippolyte, so that's the first shot across the bows. The Falkirk from Falkirk across the Dunfermline goal. Well won by Craig Sibold again in the midfield. Head from John Baird to Miles Hippolyte. Plays the ball in the middle, dummy. James Cragen oh, tries to win the second ball. Don't know what happened there. Foul or offside or no, just a wee clash, I think, with James Cragen. I think it was much wrong with that, Jamie. And I think it was overstretched and just uh, caught the man as well, hence the free kick. However, free kick it is. See Craig Civil just trying to exert some pressure on that Falkirk midfield against Callum Morris and John Heron. Header for Grant, one. Head the one, no. This gets a Header back. Dunfermline just trying to keep the ball on the ground. They do it through Callum Higginbotham. Near the Falkirk penalty box. Plays it back to Talbot. Well blocked though ball by James Cragen. Goes right back to goalkeeper. Sean Murdoch. He just plays it long. And then well won again. Unlucky by Lee Miller. Nearly got the second ball. McMullen. Put some pressure on Luke Leahy. Well done by the number 18. A bit, a bit of pressure on the fullback. I think it was on, if it was on the pitch, I think we'd have a word with Aaron, Aaron Muirhead. Not to get too close to Callum Higginbottom, you know what I mean? Because he can turn on the sixpence. And when you like touch tight, when you're so close to him, you know what I mean? He can roll you and everything. Like, you know, just just, just like give him a yard. Michael Moffat. Get your hand out. Just touch him. Make sure that, you know... He's not going to go anywhere. Dunfermline down to 10 men just now. Michael Moffat having to come off. He's got a touch of blood, which referee Wally Collum saying, need to get that sorted, son. So Dunfermline got 10 men just now. Come on, Falkirk, let's motor on. Just playing the ball across the back four just now. Our Falkirk, no penetration at the moment. Dunfermline just 
coming back a couple of yards just to be a bit more compact. Once they're down to the, still down to 10 men just now. Moffat's still getting treatment from the Dunfermline physio. Down the line. Muirhead gets the ball to Lee Miller. Craigan, but offside. Pass from Craigan to John Baird. Just up offside by a smidge. Yeah, again, I think it's just John Baird going forward instead of sort of trying to bend his run a wee bit. Trying to stay onside. Michael Moffat still off just now. It's obviously one of those ones that are just keeping on bleeding. Just a little bit of touch of Vaseline, I think, and that'll come back on the park as McKee plays the ball to John Baird, plays it back to Luke Leahy, looking for Miles Hippolyte to come short, and he does. Tries a little touch, but it was a poor touch from Miles, and Dunfermline go back in the attack again through Nicky Clark, plays it wide to Callum Higginbotham, 25 yards out. Tries to take on James Cragen. He's doubled up with James Cragen and Adam Muirhead. Heads towards the corner flag. Plays the ball outside the foot. Really gets to nobody. Only person it gets to is Craig Civil, who plays it back to Adam Muirhead. And plays it up the line towards Lee Miller. Oh, well done by Lee Miller. Nice header. Plays in John Baird, but poor touch from John. Not able to give himself that extra wee yard, but a cracking little header from Lee Miller. Yeah, they were quickly on to John Baird. You know, two round him straight away. Two of the centre halves, in fact. So, yeah. A lot bigger than him, just brushed him off. Nicky Clark gets the ball, plays it back to Wedderburn. On halfway, crossfield ball to, well, nobody, apart from Miles Sippolite, unless he was wearing a red top and changed mm. it to blue. Let's hope that continues. Yep. Falkirk still got a extra man advantage just now. Michael Moffat waiting patiently to come on. McKee plays the ball wide to Craig Sibbald. Just Falkirk just playing the ball along the halfway line just now, trying to find a ball down the line. But again, I Matt mean, Mullen. How, how many times is that, Stuart, that he's got the ball and he's looking up and there's nothing there and he's got closed down and it goes out for a throwing every single time. So Michael Moffat back on the park with a big dog of Vaseline on his napper. Cross the ball from Adam Muirhead, trying to pick up Miles Hippolyte. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. If Luke was maybe sharper, he would have got the ball back. Miles does get the ball back eventually. It was a pure touch from McMullen. Plays the ball oh, over good ball. his head to Lee Miller. Uh, Lee, Luke Leahy, cross in. James Cragen just tries to play the ball down, but Lee Miller helps him out. Cragen crosses hey. into John Baird. Oh. He was offside, though. Ah. Great tenacious work, though, by, by Miles Hippolyte, eventually getting the ball to to Luke Leahy and good work yeah, as well from great James Cragen great little flick and then a, a great ball in to be honest James Cragen does his best stretching his neck trying to keep the ball in play but um, the ball in John Baird maybe should have scored but he was offside anyway a couple of chances Falkirk's had Miles Hippolyte and John Baird Falkirk on the front foot at the moment through John Baird plays the ball back to Craig Sibbald Gets the ball back, does the Falkirk number nine. Plays it wide to Adam Muirhead. A couple of yards further forward is James Cragen, light on the wing. Taking on Talbot, tries a little trick, take him on, cuts inside, back low to Adam Muirhead, but ball goes out of play. Poor ball from James. Throw in for Dunferman. Yeah, I think the game's settling down a wee bit now. Bit of a rush early on. As you would expect, 15 minutes on the clock. It's Falkirk nil, Dunfermline nil. Peter Grant deemed to have put a shoulder, uh, put a hand on the shoulder of Nicky Clark. So, free kick for Dunfermline. Little dummy free kick there from Callum Higginbotham. Wedderburn leaves it. It's a poor 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 free kick but well done by Paul Watson just ex escorted it out yeah good defending so I, I remember Graham Ricks doing that uh, back in the day in uh, Dundee and um, he went to take a free kick and then the guy in front wouldn't move so he, he he went to swing and missed the ball but really just just missed the player in front of him and the ref sent him off that's referees for you. Yeah, well, little man syndrome, as you're saying. 
<laughs> Jimmy McGowan with us, the former Falkirk Cup final skipper. It's Falkirk shout for a handball, but none given. But Falkirk, let's have the ball through Adam, your head. Oh, poor little touch there from John Baird. Clatters into Callum Higginbotham. Didn't see really much in that, Jamie, but it was a, didn't no, help I as did well. Poor little touch from John. There's no intention from Callum there. We just, uh, John, I think John's trying to make the most of that, but, you know, if he gets Callum a yellow card, he's one to watch. Which he didn't. So, still goalless here at the Falkirk Stadium. Adam Muirhead will take the free kick. Looking for the big men. Grant gets the ball into the box. Flicked over by Lee Miller. But Dunfermline clear the ball away. But they pick the ball up again. But again, cleared away by Dunfermline. On the counter-attack, they go through Callum Higginbotham. He goes over halfway, far side. James Cregan is helping out his defence. Jocks him back a little bit, plays the ball in towards Nicky Clark, and he's offside. Ball was going out of play anyway, Lee, uh, for uh, Nicky Clark there, Jamie. Yeah, Falkirk defenders as well there, actually keeping a, a good line. I'm just allowing him to run offside. Just got to keep organised, keep talking. So we're still goalless. Danny Rogers. Taking the goal kick. Really not had a lot to do so far. Fingers crossed that continues. Uh, acrobatic overhead kick by Callan Higginbotham, but really doesn't go anywhere. McKee as well, wins a free kick. I've been impressed so far with Joe McKee. Certainly tenacious in the tackle. Well, yeah, he's uh, not scared to get stuck in, which is good. That's what we need. Especially centre midfield, that's what we've been talking about for weeks and the lacking of a bit of tenacity in there. Falkirk, get ball back through Peter Grant, plays it wide to Miles Hippolyte. Just in front of the Dunfermline dugout, nice. Well, looking for either Lee Miller or John Baird and all that found was Dunfermline goalkeeper, Sean Murdoch has a quick counter attack for Dunfermline but another poor pass again from Callum Higginbotham, fingers crossed that's Going to be his game today. Easily <coughs> kicked and cleared by Falkirk. So it's back to Danny Rogers. We'll just kick the ball out. Up towards Lee Miller. Falkirk just trying to win the second ball. Just struggling just now at the moment. Wedderburn, middle of the park. Big unit just plays it back to Jason Talbot. Wide again to Callum Higginbotham, right on halfway, far side. Plays a 1-2 with Michael Moffat and looks for a crossfield ball. Again, he seems to be looking for these World Cup balls all the time, Jamie. Yeah, World Cup Willie, he is not. Well, I think he, I think he just closed his foot on that pass there, which took it all the way through to Danny Rogers. Falkirk picked the ball up in the midfield, Craig Sibbald under pressure but plays the ball back to Luke Leahy to Miles Hippolyte, surely was filled yes. there but play goes on, Luke Leahy overlapping him, crosses the ball in, oh. header, oh! oh! Corner kick Falkirk! Nice cross from Luke Leahy. Yeah, and pretty fortunate he got on the ball to be honest but he put in a great cross at the near post and it was up to Lee Miller to try and get there. And he had two defenders round him, which uh, he must have got a touch on it, but he deflected off them for the corner. It's James Cregan. I'll take the corner kick. Up, up oh. goes the keeper, Sean Murdoch, up against Paul Watson. Goalkeeper wins that. Looking for that maybe just to be a, a little less floaty. Yeah, too much height on that one. Got to try and whip it in head height. Poor pass. From Dunfermline, number six here, Andy Gegan. He's playing right back. Oh. 
Encouraging signs, though, that Dunfermline not really creating anything. Stuart, do you think? Well, that's what I think at the moment. Fingers crossed that the Falkirk midfield seem to be dictating the forward plate. And we just seem to be dealing with long balls from Higginbotham, but fingers crossed that continues for the game. So at the moment, Dunfermline's not had a shot on goal, but it's like any other game of football, Jamie, you're just hoping that there's not going to be a little sting in the tail as Peter Dratton wins that header. And a second ball yeah. takes the ball. Well, we saw that last week, so didn't we? We thought Falkirk is so in control and defensive excellence that's not really been tested. And all of a sudden, they leave Lor like Rory Loy a couple of yards and he turns and scores. You know, it's just one of these things. Got to concentrate all the time. Keep organising. Not missed any action just now. If you're listening to us on Falkirk TV or on Radio Royal, just sit a little bitty, but thrown from Adam Muirhead to try to play in Lee Miller. Craig. Well done by Luke, by uh, Craig Sibold. Tried to get the ball to James like Craigan, but like <laughs> Falkirk just trying to suppress them for but Mullen picks the ball up, plays the ball wide. Wedderburn, right on, halfway. Just trying to turn round there. Bit like a tanker at Grangemouth. As ball from Talbot goes down the line and easily out for a goal kick, which Diana Rogers will take. I don't think the boy Wedderburn's got the engine to play in there, to be honest. He looks as though he's just... Uh, Cruising through the game as if like, yeah. Is, is it like before he's just... Can't wait to get my cigar <laughs> is at five o'clock. <laughs> as I said before, it's a case of the centre half play. Oh, flick on by Lee Miller and John Beard. 20 yards out, but good challenge by Carl Morris. Oh, that was a shame. We should have took it away from the defender, but he, he actually turned into the defender that you just like put him off balance and uh, made him fall over. Just take it onto your right foot and just slip it away. Yeah, it was a good shoulder challenge over from Callum Morris. Give the central defender his due. Cracking flick on by Lee Miller. Brought in John Baird. As Falkirk clear up through Peter Grant, only as far as Talbot. Well See, well this is it when you play Lee Miller, you know what I mean? You can get a cheap goal like that just by a, a ball forward, flick on, John Baird in, score a goal. That's what you. Jason Talbot down there now. For for Dunfermline but Falkirk carry on referee's not told them to stop play so playing to the whistle Craig Sibold plays the ball sideways to McKee Talbot's up so Falkirk can play on effectively Dunfermline down to 10 men just now Talbot at left back just struggling just now as McKee picks the ball up halfway in the Falkirk Dunfermline half to Craig Sibold tries to play the ball oh come on Craig a one -two, but then gets it to Luke Leahy just a little bit more urgency Falkirk Nice touch from Leahy to Hippolyte. Eventually, Falkirk win the free kick. Looked like a body check on Luke Leahy. No, it was just a two hands in the back, that's all. Willie Collum just having a quick word with Sandy Clark. Nothing malicious, just think Sandy was saying, what's that a fool for? And the referee explained the reason why, as... Jason Talbot is struggling. Dunfermline physios looking to come onto the park. And he does. Ironic cheers from the Dunfermline fans. Dunfermline physios looking for a pay rise, I think. It's been used a couple of times already. <laughs> So Dunfermline will be down to 10 men for a certainly a short period anyway if Talwick does recover. He seems okay. Thumbs up, thumbs up from the physio, but again, he'll need to go off the park. <coughs> so Dunfermline will be down to 10 men. Chance for Falkirk to exploit this. Free kick again. James Cregan will take. 25 yards out. Five yards from the touchline. The main stand side. He's got to think about trajectory here. That's a lot better. That oh, is nice. a lot better. Oh. 
foul. The arts of the central defender, <laughs> I would say there, Jamie. Yeah. Bit of a tip for tat. Get a nudge, fall over. Didn't see much in that as well, but as you mentioned, it's such a, a better throw in, a better kick in from uh, James Craig and the sort of stuff where you're looking for like Lee Miller or something just to flick the ball on. Yeah, I keep talking about these every week as well. You know, great ball in. Just to get someone to get a touch on it and the keeper doesn't know where it's going, whether it's going near post or far post. Can't adjust himself and it sneaks in. So, free kick taken by Murdoch. Header one by Peter Grant. Michael Moffat though, through the back of the Falkirk defence, flicked it over, nobody there. Ball does go out though to Higginbotham at the far side, he's got two Falkirk men on him, plays it back to Talbot, crossed in, poor cross again from Talbot, not really played any good balls at all today. <coughs> Unlucky by James Cragen, just tried to flick on to Lee Miller, but gets the ball back again, plays the ball to Lee Miller, it's pace against pace, no. <laughs> and number 12, Lee Ashcroft, I think I'll give him 5.8. Oh, Lee Miller was on a travel later there, wasn't he? <laughs> Lee Ashcroft, I think, was, <laughs> was on the travel later. I think he thought he was in Gladiators. He was just, uh, just ahead of him as well. It was a good race uh, for, for the slow guys. Yep, I don't think there'd be a Olympic gold medal for either of them. No disrespect, but you see both the players desperately looking for the ball so free kick for them Fairman head the well away again by Paul Watson gets the header back again Cregan flicks it on down to Lee Miller Cregan under a little bit of pressure from Wedderburn throw in for Dom Fairman play it quickly and Callum Higginbotham deemed to have been fouled so Dunferman will get a free kick right on the to be far touch line. To be fair, it was an awful pass. I don't know why Aaron has chosen to uh, have any contact with him whatsoever because he would never have got on the end of it, surely. In swinging, free kick, about 10 yards from the penalty box, but about a yard from the touch line. Free kick comes in, up towards Wedderburn, headed away by Peter Grant and by Aaron Muirhead. James Cregan picks switch, the ball up, switch, switch. looking for a Falkirk man, nobody there. Callum Higginbotham, though under pressure by James Cregan, as you mentioned there, said switch, switch, that would be all the ball there, Miles Hippolyte, a day because of him. Yeah, but he doesn't, he doesn't put his hands up, he doesn't really make any gestures if like, look, you know, switch the play. You've got to do that, you know, it's, it's the only ball that was open for him. So, free kick, oh sorry, throw in again for Dunfermline. <coughs> John Heron takes a, a little knock, but Falkirk yeah. play the ball again away. So I must apologise sometimes when I do shout out. It's just uh, <laughs> sorry. sometimes I think I'm still playing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts there of former Falkirk skipper, Jimmy McGowan. I'll try not to say any expletives against certain people. That's OK. <laughs> well, we'll be docking Especially your wages. Especially Sandy Clark. It's a, we'll be docking your wages, Jimmy. Higginbotham picks the ball up, two men on him again, trying to get past Aaron Muirhead, nice cross in by the former Falkirk man, flicked over by Nicky Clark and Callum uh, Paul McMullen, 12 yards out on the angle. Yeah, this is, it's a sort of lack of concentration again, I mean that could have nestled in the bottom corner and then after all the work that Falkirk have done and the pressure and the possession, Oh, for nothing, you know, it's got to keep concentrating and organising. Yeah, that's the first shot that Dunfermline's really had today. Oh, well, one there, header by Lee Miller. But unfortunately, nobody's here to pick up the the scraps, so to speak. Just picked up by Dunfermline, Ashcroft, under a little bit of pressure from John Beard. Plays the ball back to Sean Murdoch, who just kicks the ball long. Up to Nicky Clark, but headed from Peter Grant. James Cregan. Plays the ball to Lee Miller, back to McKee. Looks up. Nobody there though. I think he tried to think that he thought that John Baird was maybe going back a couple of yards, but unfortunately just goes out aimlessly for a goal kick. Yeah, it's a shame for John McKee there because 
by the time he looks up and sees John Baird running, it looks as though he's going to appeal to the far post, and, and that's where he puts it, but uh, Mr. Baird gives up on it. So Joe McKee making his debut today. A couple of changes for Falkirk. Mark Kerr and Fraser Aird. Make way for James Cragen and Joe McKee. Injury for Mark. Unfortunately, personal circumstances for Fraser. Thoughts are with him. He certainly played a great game against St Mirren. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, I spoke to Mark this morning and he was um, saying that, you know, <laughs> we thought he was injured last week and he had a bit of a storm last week, you know, but you said uh, during the week it just sort of gave way, you know, so that's why he's not playing today. Nearly a mistake from Talbot. Hippolyte nearly managed to pick the pocket of Weatherburn, but Dunferman still have the ball through Nicky Clark. Oh, nice tackle from Joe McKee again. Seems to be the enforcer. Gets the return ball back. It's under a little bit of pressure, but plays the ball back. <laughs> nice little shimmy and dummy from Adam Muirhead. Just shake his hips and away Higginbotham went. Plays the ball to John Baird. Back to Joe McKee. Falkirk just keeping the ball just now. Sibbled. Back to Adam Muirhead. Bang on halfway. And then plays the ball back to Paul Watson. Crossfield ball to Peter Grant. Plays the ball quickly to Luke Leahy. And then back to Joe McKee. Falkirk just trying to Edge a little bit of space, Don Fairman just putting him under a little bit of pressure. Good header won by Mills Hippolyte. And again, middle of the park, Joe McKee got if he maybe left it. Craig Sibble might have got it. Nicky Clark, oh, thankfully, offside. Something that Falkirk need to watch out, Jamie, the running of Nicky Clark. Yeah, actually, it was, it was great defending by Paul Watson, who just saw him running offside, stepped up. See you later, mate. It's obvious interesting too that, that Paul was but with Paul being in the middle rather than being the fullback, playing the being the man as the the man that plays a boy offside as Yeah, it's he's always good in that situation, but but sometimes the worst thing is has happened to me before that the linesman doesn't even see it, you know. And he just he's actually looking at the ball and not actually the guy running offside and he doesn't give it and he goes through on goal. Falkirk win the ball again. Adam Muirhead is down. John Baird plays a crossfield ball to Luke Leahy. To Miles Hippolyte. Heads in towards the box. Cross the ball in. Lee Miller flicks off a Dunfermline man. One back again from Miles Hippolyte, but deemed to have been fouled. The Dunfermline man, so free kick for Dunfermline. Adam Muirhead, who thought was in a bit of bother, but he seems to be okay. I think Willie Collum just having a making sure everything's all right. Just maybe checking that there was a maybe any blood or anything, but everything seems to be okay. Handshakes all round between himself and Callum Higginbotham. So free kick for Dunfermline, taken by Murdoch. One again by Peter Grant, skipper for the day. Cleared by Luke Leahy. Well won by Gagan. Or Ashcroft, beg your pardon, to Callum Higginbotham. Tries to play the cute crossfield ball. Nobody's there. Tries to play the crossfield ball to Gagan, but Mel Sippolite wins the header, but Gagan gets a second ball. Oh, saved by Danny Rogers, well done. Michael Moffat was right in front of him trying to put him off and put a little flick, but uh, thankfully for Danny, he was alert to the, the danger. Yeah, Miles really l cushioned it lovely <laughs> for him to go and have a shot, really. It's, um, I know he's trying to defend, but he's best probably trying just to flick that on for a throw-in. Falkirk win the free kick. Callum Morris just basically had his... His arm right round your, right round his chest there, Jamie. And I mean, right in front of the referee, and he's and he's asking the referee, "What's that a free kick for?" <laughs> yeah, because you fouled him. <laughs> James Cragen again. I'll take the free kick. But yeah, same again, same trajectory. Get it in there. Oh, too high. No, all the way to Lee Miller heads it in. Oh, oh! Joe Beard! 
two goals last week. He's back in the scoring again. Great header from Lee Miller into the six-yard box. And that predator John Baird just puts it in the back of the net. 1-0 Falkirk. Well, I slaughtered the free kick for being too high, but no one went with Lee Miller, did he? Me? He's the biggest player on the park, more or less, so you've got to go mark him, but he didn't. Got a great header, straight across the goal. Terrible defending by Dunfermline. Easy tapping by John Baird. Just like buses with John Baird. Lean spell for a wee while, and then he scores three in quick succession. Two goals last week against St Mirren. No, I'm really happy for him having a real negative commentary about him in some games, you know what I mean? But he does work hard, and he's, uh, at least now, he's actually being a bit of a fox in the box. Well, that's what we're looking for, and he's done just that. Six yards out. It's a goal, that's it, the range that all goal scorers like. So, Falkirk, 1-0 up. Gagan, no. Takes a touch. Cleared away by Luke Leahy. Then Andy Gagan, having a, been told by what they call him just to watch things. Just maybe a little, being a little bit too aggressive. I think Lee Miller just having a, maybe a little bit of a, nosebleed there but just getting a <coughs> wee wipe of a cloth things seem to be running okay Falkirk managed to get the second ball again James Cagan plays the ball down the line but goes out of play for a throw into Dunfermline right on the halfway line as the south stand find their pipes now Cameron Keaton a clean sheet Sure, you know, that's all we need to do. Keep a clean sheet. Keep I'm being positive. Keep going forward. Never mind a clean sheet, Jamie. I'm looking for five. <laughs> you would. Uh, yeah. My greedy man. It's done Fairman. Pick the ball up through Callum Higginbotham. Just doing a bit of wandering just now. Balkert, though. Pick the midfield up again. McMullen loses the ball out through Sibold. Mel Sipolite plays it long. Nobody there though. But John Baird just being a nuisance. Putting his two set and halves, Crack yep. Ashcroft under pressure. And the proverbial wasp is doing his duty. It's Ashcroft again. Plays the ball. Looked like a bit of a squaff pass, but managed to get it to McMullen. He plays it wide. Hugging the touchline again, far side as Callum Higginbotham overlapping him as Jason Talbot. Keeps it all himself though. Cross in from Callum and just cleared away by Luke Leahy. Gets a second chance as well. Second bite of the cherry. Falkirk looking for offside, but again, cleared away. John Baird just trying to get the ball to a Falkirk man. Just struggling just now, Falkirk. But Weatherburn just plays the ball straight to McKee and he motors forward. Nice tackle by Dunfermline, but picked up by Cregan. But just right behind John Baird. Just a bit of miscommunication between the number 28 and number 9. Not really, just a poor pass. Just It looks as though he's not played for a few weeks, definitely. Mr. Cragen. As Talbot takes the throw, played over by Callum Higginbotham, but that'll go out for a throw in for Falkirk. As we head towards the 39th minute. As Falkirk get the throw in. Adam Muirheads. Halfway in the Dunfermline half. Dunfermline fans having a bit of banter, but we can't really understand As them. The applause rings out. For Stevie Black. Falkirk fan. Yeah, Sadly huge pa Falkirk fan. Lost his life. Poor boy. 39. As Falkirk. Try and continue. The Dunfermline of the ball. Good that Dunfermline fans are joining as well. Good to see that. Both sets of fans. Joining in. 
Nice turn from Michael Moffat. And oh, she had done better with that. Minus the turn, Peter Grant. Great chance there for Infirmary as well. Dearly me, just flashes by Danny Rogers' his, uh, left hand post. Just for you, Stevie. And the row follows. Callum Higginbotham. Tackled up from Joe McKee, but Dunfermline get the ball back. To Higginbotham. Plays the ball wide to Talbot. Cross in. Another Easy. poor cross Easy. from Talbot. Thankfully got a shout from Danny Rogers. Looked as though a bit of panic on Luke Lee there. Just a little bit, I suppose I he's thinking that, that Please, that please shout to me, please yeah. shout to me. <laughs> Obviously thinking that Mullen was maybe behind him, but that's another pass again from Jason Talbot. I've got to be honest, I mean really not impressed with his passing today. Well it's a lot of them as well, and I think um the boy Wedderburn has been our best player. Well, fingers crossed he scores a hat trick of own goals. One 0 to Falkirk. John Baird scored in the thirty fourth minute. As Miles Hippolyte, we're not going to win a free kick, referee. Just Willie Colm telling Andy Gagan just to calm down. It's quite a lot of his play, isn't it? You know, he likes to get to his feet. He's got a defender behind him. He ends up on his backside again and trying to crawl the, the ball away and, and trying to get away. <laughs> if he gets a free kick, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, as <laughs> if he's trying to get away from an escape tunnel or something. Doing, as if he's doing tough mudder. James Craig. Right, same again. Yes, please. Free kick comes in. Oh, nice one again from James. Just got that little bit of low velocity. Header back in from Miles Hippolyte. Oh, well done. Oh, bit one two, but offside. Header from Peter Grant to yeah, Paul yeah. Watson, really. If you're hoping it was gonna be a forward play, maybe chest it down and, and had a, a shot in the keeper. Oh, John Bear's got his head in his hands because he knows. It was so easy to stay onside there, you know what I mean? It was just too eager to get on the ball. He knew exactly where the header was going. But they just waited like split second later. Yeah, they got another chance on goal. Free kick. Murdoch takes. Headed away by Peter Grant. Headed again by Talbot. Peter Grant does the same. Cleared away by McKee only as far as Talbot. He plays it forward to yeah, Callum Higginbotham. No one really shouting to Joe McKee there. Could have brought it down and started to play again. Cross field ball from Callum Higginbotham, trying to play in John Heron, but it was marshalled by Craig Civil, but the ball was just going out the park. Easy as that. That's what John McKee's saying to, uh, to the defender there, just like, you know, give me a shout, you know, could have brought it down, could have started to play again. You can keep the ball. And that's what they've got to do here, you know, try and dominate the play, keep the ball, keep them the filming suppressed. A couple of minutes before half time, might be a little bit of injury time with uh, injuries to Dunfermline men as Luke oh. Leahy deemed to have been dutching, pushing McMullen well Lee Miller goes down with a right in front of Willie Collum and Willie Collum just dismisses it totally and then gives a free kick with exactly the same thing for Dunfermline oh, nice free kick from Dunfermline straight into the to Luke Leahy, but the header eventually gets to McMullen, crosses it in, cleared away by Peter Grant. Lee Miller wins a free kick against Wedderburn. Lee just doing a good thing, just putting these, giving his uh, defence just a, a little bit of a release of pressure. You know, he just puts his body between the ball and the man, draws a free kick, and looked a bit of a dive to me, but you know, we'll take it. So we're into the final few minutes of the first half. If you've joined us late, where have you been? It's Falkirk 1, Dunfermline 0. John Baird scoring in 34 minutes. <coughs> Ball picked up by McKee. Cregan 
to John Baird. Oh, nearly gets the ball, but just off the head of Callum Morris. Well, Lee Ascot does really well there because the ball's bouncing up and John Baird's going to try and touch it over his head and then get a shot away, but Lee just like just gets a wee header on it first and takes it away from John. Yeah, apologies, yep. Lee, uh, Lee Ashkoff 12 and Callum Morris 22. I just saw the two at the back. I didn't see the, the, the two beside him. Uh, the one, sort of beg your pardon. So, but anyway, on we go. Joe McKee plays a wee 1-2 with John Baird. He plays a cute wide ball to Luke Leahy just right in front of us here. And he plays the ball towards Lee Miller, but that just goes out aimlessly to... Dunfermline goalkeeper, Sean Murdoch. As I mentioned, 34 minutes. John Baird scoring. It was a free kick from James Cregan. Towards Lee Miller. Lee headed it on, or headed it sideways to John Baird, six yards out, and the Falkirk number nine. Dispatched into the back of the net as Dunfermline win a corner kick. Joe mm. McKee just under. Hit the ball off. Callum Higginbotham came off him, so... Corner well, kick for the pars. This is where I'm uncomfortable. Seconds before the half time, and they've got a corner. Please defend well. Picking Botham will take. Get corner up. Kick comes Look. in. Free header from Nicky Clark. Just there on his own, 12 oh, yards out. Pulls the ball down, man. Head away. Hits. Oh, yes. Strike from the Dunfermline 21. John Heron, 12 yards out. Head was up, back was up. Only went one thing, it was going over the bar, but a little bit of a... Yeah, as I mentioned what happened last week, you know, if you don't close the ball down, get in his face, stop the cross, stop the shots, you're going to lose goals. As Danny Rogers takes a goal kick, maybe um, probably a couple of minutes of stoppage time. Let's just blow for half time now, will it? Lee Miller tried to win the header, but Luke Leahy managed to do so himself. Wins it again. Wedderburn plays the ball. Gets the ball. Takes a couple of touches. Cleared away. Falkirk just safety first. Danny Rogers kicks the ball out from foot. Up towards Lee Miller. Great clearance. Surely pushing the back referee, but... Craig Sibbles just... Just a wee yard. It's actually good defending because the ball comes up to Lee Miller. The defender just bumps into him just when the ball's coming. And Lee puts him off his header and he gets a defender gets a free header on it, you know. Yeah, it's been taught well. So Dunfermline take the free kick, but again, one by Falkirk. James Cregan tries to flick it over the head of Talbot and he does as referee Willie Collum.
think a little bit of nerves creep in, Tom? Still quite a, an uncertain scoreline? Yeah, I think um, in any game, when you're so close to, to gaining the three points, it's it's more of a case of not making mistakes than uh, trying to go out and win the game 2-3, 4-0. Uh, I think if we carry on in the same manner, we'll, we'll create more chances and hopefully get a, get, a, uh, get a comfortable lead. Well, let's see what the guys can do. They're asked to defend at the moment, though, as Moffat breaks to the edge of the box. Twists and turns, but just beats himself in the end, I think. Miles Hippolyte comes across to cover, but fortunately can't quite get his clearance away under pressure from McMullen. The throw in taken quickly by Dunfermline. McMullen picks up, gets a low cross in. James Cragen puts it back out to the corner flag. Luke Lee just hooks that one over his shoulder. Uh, free kick, says the ref. And Dunfermline obviously quite keen to, to come out the traps, get on the attack straight away. He looks like they've had a, a real stern word from their manager because they've come out of the, come out of the blocks all all guns firing and um, we're going to have to be on, our, on the ball here because uh, uh, Dunfermline have been and been good at set pieces over the uh, the last couple of games we've played. Yeah, they certainly have been dangerous. Falkirk facing a test here in the next few seconds. It's like Callum Higginbotham steps up and takes a right footy to the penalty spot. Peter Grant with the defensive header but I have to say a uh, a fairly needless foul by Ashcroft on Lee Miller just takes the pressure away, Tom. Lee's invaluable in those situations. He's uh, he's obviously a big threat from from our own attacking play, but um, when it comes to defending set pieces and and corners, he's a uh, he's a real um, he's a, he's, a <laughs> he's a real tower of a guy in there, and he and he wins his fair share in both ends of the boxes. And Lee straight into the next challenge, wins another flick on. Certainly was in the. Seemed to be in the wars a little bit in the first half, but time and time again, providing that outlet up top for Falkirk. As Morris plays it long for Dunfermline, tries to put Clark clear to the byline. Looks for support. Good defending by Aaron Muirhead. Lee Miller collects near halfway. Wins his side of throw in. Ball breaking off Talbot. Chance for Falkirk to advance up the park a little bit. And that's where Lee Miller's extremely important to the team. When we're under a little bit of pressure, we can play that longer pass up to him and he can make the ball stick and get us up the play, get us up the pitch. Um, it, ga it gains valuable yards and uh, relieves the pressure for the back four. Great flick on from Miller. Little touch from Bear finds Cragen and now Hippolyte. Good block there from Andy Gagan. But a great little move immediately. Just some one-touch layoffs. Falkirk. So far in this game, I'd say looking at their best when they, they move the ball early. Luke Lee and out, lays it back to Craig Sibold. Oh, good ball from Sibold, finds Lee again. Sibold carries it to the edge of the 18-yarder, cuts inside, Baird shot, charge down. Block was a good one by Ashworth. Ashcroft, big burden, as Higginbotham tries to set the Fairland away on the counter. Gagan now launches it forward towards the box, but headed away by Peter Grant. New signing Joe McKee just pops that one to Luke Lee. As Falkirk look to get back on the attack. Possession turned over, though. It's with Talbot inside the centre circle. And Fairland up over halfway. And I think the intention was to send Moffat away there, but the execution didn't quite match the... The idea, unfortunately, for the Dunfermline man. What's that? Ashcroft looks downfield, sends it towards Clark, wins a flick on, but Joe McKee takes the danger away by just playing that back through to Danny Rogers. Kick out, as a, not as he would have hoped, though. Straight to Callum Higginbotham. His crossfield pass is kept in by Moffat. Chance for Dunfermline. Cross comes in. The header is there. James Cragen can't clear. Handball from Higginbotham. Well, thankfully, the Fairland man just couldn't get it under control there. We're going to find this in the second half where 
them firmly. They're going to be throwing balls into the box. We're going to have to stay strong and resolute. And and there, James Craig has actually took up a very good position at the back post and, and blocked a shot and then and then turned and managed to clear it away. Falkirk just can't quite get that one under control. Dunfermline try and break forward again. Wedderburn right on the centre circle. Forward, little layoff between him and Heron. This ball finds its way back to Wedderburn. Ashcroft now. Falkirk just containing Dunfermline in midfield for the time being. Civil Dot nicks in to steal the ball. He needs support, finds John Baird. John Baird puts it ahead of Miles Hippolyte, but covering defender is Morris, who comes across and just takes care of business. Peter Grant now for Falkirk, just lays it off to the side to Luke Lee. The ball lumped back forward again, as far as Michael Moffat, just on the touchline on the far side. Heron now looks up, sees, well, he had two men to aim for there. Perhaps just in case Tommy wasn't sure which one to go for. No, we, we, we're keeping a really good shape as a back four. Um, Callum Higginbottom staying quite wide on this left-hand side. And there's always a tendency as a right back to want, to want to stay with your man and leave gaps in between that back four. But he's tucking in well, Aaron, and uh, forcing, the, forcing the play into, into our goalkeeper. John Baird holds the ball up. Does well to hold it off under pressure. Finds Miles Hippolyte. Ball into the box. A good one. Miller's there. And inches wide of the post from Lee Miller. Falkirk fans on their feet. I think they felt that was in the back of the net. Cross was a great one. The run was a great one. And Lee Miller inches away from making that 2-0. On the replay there, it looks like uh, Lee's just got a little bit ahead of the ball there and he's having to, to crane his neck to try and angle that back towards goal and he's, he's only missed by a couple of yards. Good chance for Falkirk, best one of the half so far. The ball goes loose for the time being. Be a throw in to Dunfermline on the far side. Well, glorious chance for the Bairns to extend their lead. More of the same <coughs> to come, hopefully. James Cragen takes it down, little layoff to Aaron Muirhead. Looks ahead of him. His pass is picked off by Talbot, though, who immediately goes off on a run. Moffat against Watson. Falkirk man stands firm. Takes no chances. With a sliding tackle, just sticks that one out of play. Talbot takes a throw in quickly. Cross in as a deep one to the back post. Luke Lee quite happy just to watch that one drift out of play. Overall, I mean, it's an interesting point you make there, Tom. I mean, for me, the actual sh the shape and the structure of the side today, it's been really, really rigid, really, really disciplined performance so far. Is that fair to say? Yeah, and uh, and that's the case of mo most derby games. It's about keeping your shape, not giving any uh, any chances to the opposition, giving them a foothold in the game for for no reason, and then and then building from there. And, and what we've found by having a good shape is that when the ball's broke, we've had men fill in every position on the field and we can counter quickly. Well, Craig Sibbald wins his side a, a free kick round about well, maybe 15 to 20 yards over halfway over on the far side. So it's going to be James Cragen steps up to take it. He's got Lee Miller, Paul Watson, Peter Grant to aim at. <coughs> John Baird hovers in the D on the edge of the box. The rush in starts now. Header down is won by Ashcroft, but it's McMullen who gets there first to hook the loose ball downfield. And then Moffat sends it long. Lee and Muirhead are back for Falkirk. Look, Lee under pressure from Moffat, takes no chances. Sticks that one straight out of play. Just allows his teammates to get back into their position. Little conversations. I know it's Tom going on between Alan Johnson and Sandy Clark down in the Dunfermline dugout. Can you see them trying to, to change things at all? I think it's um, the two the two forward players. Good tackle there, Joe McKay. 
I think the two forward players have been have been dealt with quite comfortably by uh, by Paul, Paul Watson and Peter Grant, and I think if there's going to be a change, it might be for a player that offers something a little bit different rather than boys that drop in and like to link the play. Maybe a target man if Alagi's on the bench um, to to get the ball in the box early and uh, and create some chances that way. So Higginbotham with the corner in, nodded down by Clark. Play goes on. Higginbotham chance to slide it in. Pound away by Rogers. Falkert managed to clear as far as Wedderburn. Hippolyte comes out to meet the big towering midfielder. Hippolyte sticks to his task. Wedderburn goes towards the byline. Good lad, Danny Rogers. Yep, Danny had to be, saw the danger there. Must be encouraging as well, Tom. You see that just coming out and taking all the pressure off your defence in that situation. Yeah, he was very commanding there, Danny. And myself and a couple of the boys were talking uh, just at the end of the first half and, and complimenting Danny on his good kicking as well today. He's really got us up the pitch and uh, and put the team on the back foot. Falkirk fans screaming for a foul there on Lee Miller, not given. As the ball goes all the way back to Danny Rogers, who launches it downfield, and on that occasion, absolutely, no doubt, Ashcroft straight through the back of Lee Miller. Big striker to his credit, just back up on his feet, gets on with it again. He almost seems to enjoy the, the kind of rough and tumble aspect of the game. He loves the rough and tumble, and, and once again, he's gained his... 30, 40, 50 metres and, uh, and now we're putting the ball in the opposition box. So flighted in by Aaron Muirhead. The flick on by Peter Grant. Just marshalled out of play on that occasion by Gagan. Will be a, a bye kick to the visitors. For anyone tuning in late, we are around about 12 or 30 minutes into the second half here at the Falkirk Stadium. Falkirk 1, Dunfermline 0. Joe McKee contests with Heron. <laughs> be a throw in to the Bairns. Debut today for the new Falkirk midfielder. And the flick on, ball throw in, flicked on as far as John Baird. Two red shirts round him. Good cross field pass, finds Luke Lee. Ball forward up as far as Cragen. Little turn there, it was a good one to skip away from Morris but Gagan comes across just to provide the tackle Cragen sticks to his task though forces the Fairland to start again from right down near the corner flag of course uh, a little bit of added competition for you in a week or so's time Tom with uh, Joe's signing your initial impression? Yeah, he's played very well. He's um, he looks tidy on the ball and he's competed well in the middle. And as we mentioned before, the, these derby days can be hectic and, and frantic, and it can be difficult to to play your passes and and uh, keep the game ticking over. But I think hi himself and Sibs have done that very well today. The throw in finds Lee Miller, a little flick on, but it falls between four red shirts. Falkirk recover it though through Aaron Muirhead. John Baird has come wide. Good play by Baird, plays it back in to McKee, needs an option, Miles Hippolyte drifts out left. Falkirk content just to knock the ball about, probe for an opening. McMullen knocking it out for a throw in on that occasion. So... <laughs> Luke Lee with the throw down the line Lee Miller on the corner of the box lays it off to Hippolyte, low cross comes in great flick from Beard, good defensive clearance Dunfermline managed to get the, break, the break at not just one but two 50-50 tackles great little flick from Beard Miles Hippolyte unlucky in the first occasion does Dunfermline manage to scramble out of play for a throw in? A couple of decent moves for Falkirk. There's a little bit of a little bit of steam building, a little bit of momentum. 
Can he capitalise? That's the question. As Moffat tries to get the powers away. Good layoff from Clark. Finds McMullen. Falkirk on the back foot now. McMullen goes past Lee. The cross comes in. Free header there for Higginbotham. Makes a mistake. Peter Grant clears. And now Miles Hippolyte breaks 40 yards forward. He's only really got John Baird up front to find. Burns striker plays it off. Ashcroft did well there. All he could really do, Tom. We've got an injury here. Looks like uh, Hopkirk's going to be coming on for Dunfermline. We've done well there. We've um, we've dealt with the counter well and count counted ourselves and and want to throw in higher up in the pitch. And I think now the message from the from the assistant James there is to. To, ca to calm down a little bit and just take control of the game. We, we don't want it going end-to-end -end like that. You know, we, we were in, in good possession before that little spell there. And if we can get back in control of the game, then hopefully we can, uh, we can, uh, we can dominate once more. So there is uh, an injury down the, the opposite end of the park at the moment. And it's number 21, John Heron. And Fairland midfielder who's down. So, a little bit of treatment being administered. He is now back on his feet. <coughs> a little bit of, a little bit of, dazed and confused by the looks of it. But he's going to be, seems to be okay to continue. So good news for the Dunfermline fans. And Hopkirk, poised to enter proceedings in the next minute or two but the question is who's coming off meanwhile Falkirk having a throw in 20 yards from goal Aaron Muirhead steps up long throw in towards the corner of the six yarder a flick on headed away of a Gegen shot from Hippolyte charged down comes to Cregan unfortunately just couldn't get his body over the top of that one but certainly the right idea Again, set pieces. We've um, we've looked strong, dominant, winning the first ball, winning the second ball, and getting shots on the edge of the box. It's the thing, Tom. I mean, you know, from a, from a layman's point of view here, I'm, I'm looking at a Dunfermline defence, and I see Morris, I see Ashcroft, two huge guys. But I, I don't know if it's a bit of organisation between them and the keeper or what it is. But we do seem to be getting a bit of joy out of that combination. It's the quality of the delivery. Um, you know they. They've got probably three three big boys, and we've got Watson, Muirhead, Grant, Craig, and Miller. You know, there's, there's even Hippolyte. You know, there's five or six boys there. They're outnumbered, and if you put the ball into the right area with good quality, you're always going to get chances. So it's uh, Riley and Hopkirk who are coming on for Dunfermline at the expense of McMullen and Moffat. So Riley will partner Nicky Clark up front. And Hopkirk. Hopkirk's going to play uh, on the left-hand side. A bit more of a, a physical presence. Something that Tom mentioned just a, a minute or two ago. Higginbotham flights the free kick forward. Headed away by Muirhead. Helped on by Sibbald. John Baird back helping out. Plays it forward. John Baird gets there. Just needs to hold on to the ball. Dunfermline fans screaming that the ball had gone out of play when it's about two and a half yards in. Falkirk move it early. Hippolyte now on the far side. Good delivery in. And a good clearance by Talbot. Higginbotham helps it away. Another flick on by Riley. Riley again picked off by Hippolyte. Willie Collum says play on. Your head to Baird, a little round the corner to James Cregan. Tries to put Baird away again. The ball just wouldn't quite sit down for him. Heron now on halfway. Forward to Hopkirk. Dunfermline just advancing up the park. Poor pass, so gives the ball away. Now McKee. Five red shirts in front of him, though. The layoff is a better option. Falkirk tried to spread play to the left, but 
Callum Higginbotham just throws a spanner in the works there. What I've liked about us today is when we've, when we've got the ball back, we've actually gone straight at the Dunfermline back four and looked to penetrate right away and, and really put them on the back foot. And I think you saw Dunfermline there trying to play six, seven, eight, nine short passes, trying to keep the ball but not really going anywhere. And, and we snuffed them out and broke quickly and, and really made them look stretched at the back. So Dunfermline start things again all the way from the back. Murdoch with the goal kick, kicks from hand, goes all the way through to Luke Lee, little lay back to Danny Rogers, nice easy one for the young Irishman to send downfield, Miller wins a flick on, Falkirk numbers forward, well Falkirk with a, a four on three momentarily but Willie Collum feels it was a, a head knock after Ashcroft went to ground, <coughs> after the challenge of uh, between him and Lee Miller, 50-50 high ball. Looking at the replay, two players going up. Yep, just a just a clash of heads. And Ashcroft has uh, has come off worse than the two. Actually, Ashcroft's gone with a hand first for some reason. The kind of forearm when you look at it a bit closer. I think if he just contested that one cleanly, he probably wouldn't have got injured, but. It's back up. Dunfermline tried to move the ball quickly. Pickpocketed by Craig Sibbald though. McKee to Miller. Muirhead plays it back inside to Sibbald. Looks in front of him for options. Tries the spectacular from distance. It just kind of opened up nicely for him there, Tom. Yeah, and you want seems to be doing that. He's got a fantastic strike and... It is a fair way out, but if anyone's going to hit the ball into the top corner from 30, 40 yards, it's going to be Sibs. So, Murdoch with the bye kick. The keeper left foots it, downfield, up over halfway. Peter Grant again, so commanding in there. I think uh, just letting Nicky Clark know he was there the second time. A bit of the old Gandalf, none shall pass. So it's going to be a, a free kick to the visitors. Just inside the centre circle in Falkirk's half. Flighted forward. A little shove from Hippolyte though. Yeah, it's big for a little shove from Higginbotham on Hippolyte, I should say. But uh, possibly offside, Stuart saying as well. And Willie Collum in the replay there, see him signalling over to the the assistant, it was him who made the call, so Danny Rogers restarts play. The flick on from Morris, goes out of play. Throw into Falkirk, 30 yards out. The game just seems to be dropping a tiny little bit. You can kind of feel it around the stadium as well at the moment. Just need something just to just to spark it back into life. I think the boys will be happy with how it is at the moment. They've um, they've nullified all the Dunfermline threats, and as long as we can maintain possession like we have been, great ball. Chance here for Craigan. Six yards out. Second chance for James Craigan. Unfortunately, again, in fairness to him, Tom, no under pressure there from uh, from both Hopkirk and Talbot, throwing himself in front of him at the last minute, and just making it difficult. Yeah, the ball wouldn't come down for him, and he's had to take it quite early because of the two advancing challenges and he's, he's just come off his shin pad I think it's unlucky because he's done the first part really well he showed composure, take, tried to take the ball down and he just couldn't settle for it sorry Tom, what were, you, what were you saying a moment ago before we were interrupted in terms of quite happy with the way it is just now And yeah I think we've got control of the game um, and the big thing for me is the two, the two wingers are, are actually providing not just good moments going forward but there's been two or three occasions where They've been blocking shots at the back post and uh, and recovering well and helping out the fullback. So I think there's a good balance at the moment in the team. So Higginbotham knocks it forward, tried to pick out Heron, but it's Joe McKee who comes away for Falkirk. His pass just hits the back of Andy Gagan. 
And the Pars have possession again. Weatherburn switches play quickly to Talbot. Little point inside towards Hopkirk. Good play by Muirhead, just shuts him down though. Hopkirk launches it long. Watched all the way by Watson. Loose ball picked up by Heron. A little misunderstanding between Clark and Heron. The ball coming back to the midfield man. Just too quickly, straight off his shin pad. And right over the byline is the uh, the attendance. has just been handed to me here by Tom. It's uh, 4,632 in the home end. And 1,321 making the trip from Fife. A grand total of 5,953. Certainly makes it one of the, the better supported games in the country today. Looks like we've got a, another little knock though. Looks like Andy Gagan's gone down on the far side. Physio is on the park attending to him, so a little lull in the play. But I mean, at the moment, Tom, can you see that this looks fairly, uh, fairly settled down on the bench? We see three subs coming back, another three going out, but really just seems to be routine warm ups, no real discussions between the management team. They look fairly happy at the moment. Yeah, and rightly so. I think we have got good control of the game. Um, and as of yet, Dunfermline aren't, aren't threatening threatening us all and see if we can maintain this control and uh, keep passing the ball the, the way we have. I don't, I don't see the need for a change. All the front two are, are really causing problems for the back four of Dunfermline and there are no chances being created by, by the Dunfermline players either. So it's a good, a good control and um, I feel like we're, we're more than comfortable. So hopefully from a Bairns point of view, that will continue. I'm sure our visiting viewers, shall we say, from over the bridge may disagree. But we'll see what happens in the last 18 minutes of this game. Little layoff from John Baird. Finds Sybold up to the corner of the box. He's got Hippolyte wide. Goes past one, past two. Good block at the third attempt by Wedderburn. Both Cragen and Baird are waiting in the middle to pounce. Important interception by a Dunfermline man. So James Cragen once more makes his way across. <coughs> Hopkirk picks up the back post for Dunfermline. Peter Grant comes near for Falkirk. The ball flighted in. Grant's there. Not far away. The big centre half's header. Deflects off his marker and takes it just wide. Another fantastic delivery as well. It's been whipped in there with good pace into a good area. When you've got people who can head the ball like Peter Grant, we're always going to cause problems. Ball in once more. Miles Hippolyte recovers it. Luke Lee, last man back, takes no chances. Good control by James Cragen, takes it in. Burst in low, low cross is there. And almost an own goal as Morris was forced into the interception. Morris forced into an interception. Thankfully for him, stuck it by the post and not into his own net. So we repeat the exercise, another corner for the Bairns. Again, James Cragen steps up, goes to the back post this time, Grant's there, wins it. Your head lofts it. Flicked on by Hippolyte. Little game ahead tennis goes on just now. Grant wins it again before Weatherburn tries to hook it clear. And McKee keeps possession, goes all the way back to Luke Lee. Again, tries the, the raking pass to Cragen. Great control by Cragen. Burst in the box, chance to score. Shot just wide. Side netting. Well, John Baird's not happy. He wanted the ball played across to him. Just looking at the replay, good touch, good control by James Cragen. I think uh, Lee Miller was perhaps in the middle, as was John Baird, but in, the, in James Cragen's defence, you can see, Tom, when it comes in again there, there's at least another two defenders in, in the area as well. And I think they're blocking the shot to the far post as well, and hence why he's tried to reverse it and put it into the near post. It's a great play though by James. He's, he's putting three great balls there on the trot and then he's also burst past his man and nearly scored for us. Well, I'll make that three, if not four further chances for Falkirk to, to put the game to bed almost. They haven't as yet been able to, to take it. Dunfermline fans still have a, 
a bit of hope. Falkirk looking for that killer goal, but you have to say, the longer it stays 1-0, anything can happen. Weatherburn switches play now to Talbot. Fullback bursts forward, finds Hopkirk. 25 yards out, cuts into his right foot, flights the ball in, Rogers comes. Good punch by Danny Rogers. Dunfermline settle for a throw, which you take quickly. Higginbotham, good cross in, it's over Rogers. That's a great defensive header by Paul Watson. The cross on that occasion just seemed to seem to drift away from Danny, but Paul Watson doing the right thing in behind, covering for his keeper. Well defended. He's covered the he's covered the other centre back, uh, Peter Grant, very well there. There's uh, there's Aaron Murad also hel helping him out, and uh, we've dealt with that quite comfortably. Higginbotham flights this one in near corner, a free header. Somehow, an inquest goes on in the Falkirk defence. Is Ashcroft probably you have to say the main aerial threat for Dunfermline? A little inquest goes on, the guys aren't happy. Big centre half given a free run and thankfully you have to say a real let off for the Bairns Tom as that one just drifted half a yard wide. These set pieces again, they're, they're very strong at these set pieces and um, we need to keep the communication uh, communication levels high because he's got a free run there as the, the boy Ashcroft and uh, on another day that could be in the back of the net. The only good thing for Falkirk looking at the replay is Craig Sibbald seemed to have the far post covered anyway but... Uh, you don't want to take too many chances like that. Dunfermline now. Chance to get forward. Hopkirk runs into Craig and Muirhead. And then McKee plays it forward. John Baird picks up the loose ball. Four opposition players round him. Still got it. He just waits for his teammates to help him out. John Baird provides the run again for Craig Sibbald. Ten yards out now. Hippolyte plays it back to McKee, 30 yards from goal. Gestures to James Cregan to go wide, which he does. Can Falkirk work an opportunity here? McKee flights it in. The ball breaks loose. Sibbald lays it off to Hippolyte. The shot there. And there's in! <laughs> Lee Miller makes sure. A bit of confusion if the ball had or hadn't crossed the line at the first attempt. Lee Miller... It takes no chances. John Baird, perhaps unlucky not to put the ball in the net. Looked, well, you have to say, looking at the replay, may have been in first time. Hippolyte with the shot, up and down. I actually think that's John Baird's goal. But Lee Miller takes no chances. Well, it's been announced as Lee Miller. But uh, the replay, I'm sure, will be something the guys might want to, the two strikers may want to argue over. I can tell you something for nothing. John Baird will be straight over to the video guy after this game, checking that. <laughs> in your fairness, you have to say, in, uh, in Baird's defence, it looked like it was over the line. So anyway, Tom, sorry, just to get distracted by looking at the, the replay of that goal again, but uh, overall, exactly what the Bairns were after. Definitely, and, and Miles Hippolyte's instrumental in the goal. Um, you know, as a young player growing up, you're always told, shoot across the goalkeeper, and he's done that. He's he shanked, he shanked the ball a little bit, in, in, in truth. But, um, you know, he, he's done that, and he, he, he's fell to the feet of uh, John Baird, who's who's got a really good contact on the ball. It's always difficult when it's bobbling, but he's hit the target and, and deserves his goal. Miles must have been watching me at fives if he's uh, if he's learning those tricks. But he, didn't, he didn't fall on his bum though. <laughs> Paris, I've got plenty of pad in there, so I'm all right. <laughs> Challenge on halfway now. A little game ahead, tennis goes on again. And it's a ball through by McKee, tries to play it forward for John Baird. Striker acknowledges the pass, just had gone the other way of the, the marker. Paul Watson. Here's the danger for the Bairns. Helped on by Cregan. 
Sibold. Stands his ground against Wedderburn. And eventually, Willie Collum penalises his infernal man. Just being a little bit too aggressive. You have to say Craig Sibold does stick into his task well against uh, what seems a, a fair mismatch at that point in time. Yeah, he's very strong, he seems. He's got that low centre of gravity. And when he gets his body in the way, he's, he's, he's hard to push over. And, and once again, he's driving on from midfield and taking the team forward. So, free kick to the Bairns. Five yards over halfway. Flighted forward by McKee. Header away is a good one. Picks out Higginbotham. Little layoff there to Geggen. Good pressure by Hippolyte, though. Keeps Dunfermline in. Forces Higginbotham to come across and clear his lines Peter Grant now in midfield lofts it forward looks for Lee Miller oh Lee Miller does tremendously well just to keep possession takes it away from two Dunfermline men and picks out Joe McKee great play by Miller McKee with the shot and Mayfriend was there and unfortunately just wouldn't sit down for John Baird Mayfriend and that shot from Joe McKee though Tom was absolutely fantastic It's a great strike, just looking on the replay there. The ball looks like it's going, you know, a, a yard inside the post and it's kind of come back on itself, making the keeper have to parry it and John would usually score nine times out of ten in that situation. Yeah, perhaps a little more time, he could have taken a touch, but with uh, with Talbot in close attendance, he only had a second or two to hit it first time. McKee to Sibold and this time though it's Weatherburn who finds Hopkirk the ball forward well not sure what he was trying to do you've got to give immense credit to the uh, to the front two today I think they've caused numerous problems for the Dunfermline back four and uh, Lee's held the ball up so well fought for every ball great layoffs and and Birdie's running in behind and finishing it's it's always going to cause trouble for any defense and uh, I think they've both been on fire today yeah I have to say a really strong performance from the from the front two, I don't think there's any Falkirk fans who will disagree with that. They've kind of caused all sorts of problems for the Dunfermline fans, the uh, Dunfermline fans, the Dunfermline defence and fans, as Tom says. Looks like Dunfermline are making their third change as uh, Joe Cardo enters proceedings. And it's Heron who's gone off. Of course, a bit of a, a bit of a talisman for the Dunfermline support. Seems to have been. Kind of in and out the team recently though. Falkirk play it long. Talbot just nods that one back to his goalkeeper, but I have to say not too convincing. Thankfully the murder keeping that one in. It was wide enough for him to, to get there in time. Paul Watson heads the goal kick back the way it came and does so again. Higginbotham flicks it forward. Good layoff from Clark, finds Hopkirk. Hopkirk flights it in, and again, another great header by Paul Watson. Corner kick is going to be. As Stuart said, it looks like Cardle and Hopkirk have swapped wings momentarily. Corner kick flighted near post, away by McKee. Ball bounces round, and then it's James Cragen who wraps his boot round that one. Sends it forward. John Baird does well to keep it in. Gets there ahead of Cardo. Oh, great play by Baird. Finds Sibold. He's got two men left. Good support provided. Falkirk work it forward on the left. Hippolyte have gone the full length of the pitch. Good cross in. And then Wedderburn with Sibold behind him. Forced to concede the corner. Great flow and move though, Tom. You have to say some goal that would have been. Fantastic play and and John Baird there, he's got the ball in a position where you're thinking he's got three Dunfermline players around him. Just uh, just run the ball down the line, win a throw in, he's checked back, played the ball inside and we've broke down the, le down the left from the right and put in another good ball as Miles. He's, his delivery's been fantastic today. Can James Cragen produce another good delivery? This one flighted in central, Murdoch comes out. Good take by the keeper. Goalkeeper launches how it's sort of a kick forward. Dealt with again, though, by the Falkirk defence. I have to say, 
Falkirk defence have looked really comfortable today. They've kind of, well, touch wood. They've, uh, they've handled everything from Fermland have thrown at them. Just the whole team has been a, a fairly solid performance as we see Bob McHugh and Nathan Austin being recalled. And, uh, yep, the bibs are coming off for both. So could be a double striker change here for the Bairns in a few minutes' time. Looks like we're into about five minutes or so to go here. Lee Miller plays it forward to John Baird. Under pressure from two, holds it off. Oh, leaves Talbot for dead. And a great pass from Baird as well. Finds Hippolyte. Baird goes in support. It's two on six, but the Fairland are the ones looking worried at the moment. You have to say, the way these guys are playing up front for Falkirk today, Tom, two on six and it's the visitors defence who, who are looking worried it's because they don't know what John Baird's going to do they think he's going to run in behind he's dropping short they think he's going to pop the ball off he's holding it in and that, in that situation when you've got three guys around you as I said before the best you can hope for in, in most situations is a throw in and he's rolling his man and holding other guys off and then slipping great passes into Miles who's advanced 20-30 yards and immediately we've got a free kick 30 yards away from goal just wonder if uh, Miles fancies his chances. We're 2 0 up. Maybe the chance to try something more ambitious. Hippolyte, 25 yards. Well, on target, but an easy one for the goalkeeper on this occasion. Peter Grant just closes down. Does enough to hold Dunfermline up. Let his teammates get back downfield. And they do indeed steal the ball back. Luke Lee, forward to Lee Miller. Two men round them, so it lays it off to Craig Sibbald. Plays a little one two with Luke Lee. Craig Sibbald still has it. Lee Miller now. Falkirk just knocking the ball about, making Dunfermline chase it. McKee. Baird. Lee. Well, the Ole chance going round the Falkirk Stadium here. Followed by the compulsory booze, it eventually goes to a Dunfermline player. Paul Watson again wins that challenge. It's just dominated in the air at the back today. Joe McKee, great pass wide, finds Hippolyte on a charge. John Baird, the corner of the box, goes past one. Well, clinical finisher most of the time, but uh, not on that occasion. And he deserves to have been shots from 20, 25 yards. He's created his own space there, he's been fantastic, fantastic all day and I'm sure he'll get a big round of applause now. Yeah, great performance by John Baird, scored one and you have to say a replay shows that it looks like he actually scored two and he gets a, a standing ovation from the Falkirk crowd for his performance as he's replaced by Bob McHugh and it looks like Luke Lee has picked up a knock. Yeah, Luke Lee is uh, limping his way towards the dugout. Don't know if it's uh, a, a, touch of, a touch of cramp or a little knock he's taken. Of course, he did pick up, a, pick up an injury earlier in the game. It's a likely cause as Tony Gallagher will take over for the remainder of this match. A few minutes left. We're just hearing as well that uh, John Baird has been voted man of the match. Kind of hard to argue with that one, Tom. He's kind of tormented the Dunfermline the defence all day. He's been immense. I think both him and Lee have played equally as well. And I think the uh, the two goals have just pipped him for man of the match there. But I've not seen a, a more complete striker performance from, from two guys in, uh, in a long time. It looks like we are going to see Nathan Austin. But Falkirk were deliberately holding one substitute back. It looks like they're just trying to disrupt any momentum that uh, Dunfermline may, <coughs> may look to get by keeping one sub back just to make it another minute or two. So I suspect it's going to be Lee Miller as the, the other starting striker to be replaced by Nathan Austin. Of course, there's only about a minute or so of this game, maybe well, maybe a couple of minutes. And uh, Stuart just showing me there's, yep, two minutes and 10 seconds or something. Round about that. Plus whatever 
Injury time, of course, is added on. Dunfermline go to the corner flag. Little jink there. Crossed in near post, Peter Grant. Launches that one clear. Ashcroft can't control it, so under pressure from Lee Miller. Forced to all the way back to his goalkeeper. Murdoch fires it forward. Gallagher just ball goes over his head and momentarily Higginbotham flights it in, but Peter Grant covers. Cardo, well, perhaps a little bit unlucky there. The arm was out. And now the break in play. We'll see Lee Miller make way. Again, huge round of applause goes up around the Falkirk Stadium as the Dunfermline fans are flooding for the exit. They've seen enough. The away end is half emptied already. Nathan Austin. It's not had a, a fortunate time with little niggles and knocks, so good to see him get on the park, Tom. Yeah, he's been working really hard to get fit. He's um, he's had a had a frustrating time, you know, one setback after another. But um, from seeing him in training the last couple of weeks, he's looking he's looking sharp. He's looking ready to go, and he offers something different to the other th three or four strikers we've got. There's Falkirk taking him from East Fife, <coughs> bringing him up to the Championship, giving him an opportunity. Again, Peter Grant mops up. For me, I mean, it, the defensive performance between Watson and Grant has been absolutely first class today. The two Falkirk centre-halves have just been so dominant. I, I genuinely am struggling to think of an aerial ball that the uh, the Dunfermline forwards have won all day, Tom. Yeah, I think I think the key to a, a good defensive performance is he's judging it on how much you've had to talk about last ditch blocks, you know, the ball going in behind, centre backs turning, everything's been played in front of them today and there's never been any any scary moments. We've we've mar the, the boys have marshalled the the midfield four well in front of them and give themselves little to do because of that. So Dunfermline look to get perhaps a consolation but the pass goes straight through to Aaron Muirhead. Long ball forward as he tries to pick out Bob McHugh, but it's headed away by Ashcroft. Morris now for Dunfermline up to the edge of the, the centre circle, offloads it to Wedderburn. Put under pressure by Austin. Dunfermline advance up to halfway. Cardo now forced back though by McKee. It's gone about his business quietly, but fairly impressive debut from him. Hippolyte just stretches his legs down the left hand side stops, looks up flights it in to James Cragen McHugh with the layoff to McKee your head down the line to Cragen again Falkirk content to keep the ball Cragen tries to go around the full back but a little hand ball by Joe Cardo now I have no idea how Wally Collum lets that go. I mean, I guess there's just no intent there, so he waves play on, Tom. I think the the big question is how you give a penalty against myself at the East End Park for the same thing. The Fairland in the box. Ah, superb. And again, though, Paul Watson, the offside trap broken first time, but no mistake, second time around is nasty clash there between uh, Nathan Austin and Joe Cardo. Thankfully, both men back up on their feet. He made that look effortless there, did Paul Watson, didn't he? He's got, he squared up in the box against a tricky opponent and he just takes the ball off his toes and, and rolls it into midfield. He, he's been outstanding today. I have to agree. I think it's been one of the one of the best games I've seen Paul Watson have for, for Falkirk. The offside flag goes up. Doesn't matter though, as there goes the full-time whistle. I can tell you, Dunfermline fans booing their own team. Well, 11 undefeated before they came to the Falkirk Stadium. Yeah, it's been a complete performance from the boys. Great at the back, causing terror up front, and the midfield was strong. Drove the team forward. And I think the big thing that, that we can take from this game is that without playing amazingly, we've dominated a team which are not too far away from us in the league. And a great result down at Palmerston with Queen of the South winning 2-0.
Yeah, Stuart just uh, showing us that Derek Lyle and Keegan Jacobs of Kyle Jacobs have done the, the business there. And it's uh, elsewhere. Hibernian dropping points as well. Jason Cummings rescuing a, a draw, it seems. As, uh, they've been held 1 1 by Air United. So, overall, not a bad day's work for the Bairns. Well, the players rightfully taking the applause as they leave the park. And really though, Tom, I mean, reflecting on that game today, the guys just looked really comfortable all day. I mean, no disrespect to Dunfermline, I'm not, not in any way trying to, to do so, but Falkirk team just looked so much in control of that fixture that, if anything, it's cause for concern for Alan Johnson. Well, I think whenever you start a game, you always believe that you're going to keep a clean sheet, you're going to score two or three goals, and you're going to win comfortably. But when a team like Weedy today came and nullified every threat, then dominated, then caused many problems for, the, for uh, Dunfermline at the back, I think Dunfermline lost heart. I think they saw that we were in total control. We were dominating every, in every area of the park. And it's difficult to rouse yourselves when you're in that situation and you can't see yourself scoring. And I think that's what happened today. Well, the thoughts there of Tom. Of course, usual thank you to... Stuart and Tony for doing technical. Stuart and rather and Jamie for first half comms. Russell back to back to full health and behind the camera today. Jamie McGowan for joining us for commentary in the first half along with Stuart and of course to, to Tom for joining me up here in the gantry in the second half. We're I'm very pleased to say that uh, on the day we hope Stevie was perhaps watching over us. You'll be delighted to see the result. Just Falkirk two, Dunfermline nil.